Hey guys, it's Will from machinelovus.com here with a quick video about how to go from this, a plot that we have here in our Jupyter Notebook with Bokeh, to this, which is a plot that is installed and interactive, just how we had it in our notebook, but live on our WordPress site uh, here at machinelovus.com. So let's go through that quickly. This is going to be a quick video because Bokeh makes it so nice and easy to do this. Uh, so just to recap from where we were, we have this uh, tube analysis notebook. If you've been following along in the previous videos, what we have done is we have this search term that goes through. And if I just go ahead, restart and run all on this, this will start from the very beginning, go through this entire notebook, which we've built to uh, find all of the likes, grab the YouTube statistics API, put them into a data frame, and then visualize that data frame, do a, do a bit of descriptive statistics on the videos, not too much, go through and take that output and put it into this uh, interactive, nice interactive chart. Now this is a little bit different than the chart that we wound up at the end of the previous video. At the end of the previous video, we had, we used the row final layout. Uh, what I've done here is change this to the column because on the site, I wanted to have this vertically so that when folks are looking at this on their uh, devices, on their phones, that it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't overrun their screen and make the, the website look weird. So this, this would look fine on a mobile, uh, mobile experience. Okay, so I just cleaned up the code a little bit, apologies for my many tabs here, and changed it to a column layout. Uh, I messed with the, the colors a, a little bit, but this is essentially the same plot that we wound up with at the end of the last video. And what's nice about Bokeh is that we just take these few lines. So from uh, Bokeh Embed, import file HTML, from bokeh.resources, import CDN, and then you just say, hey, HTML is file HTML, put in our final layout, which we have defined right here that generated the, the plot itself. Uh, make my plot. Uh, and this comes directly from the sample code that uh, that is on the main uh, Bokeh web page. Uh, and you can just check out the documentation here. And then we print out this HTML and this HTML has everything we need to cart around this, this chart and make it interactive, which is just fantastic. And so what I've done, it's uh, pretty dead simple here. It's a, it's a copy and paste. I go into my, now I am running um, Genesis. And what I do here uh, you can see some of my meager views on the site. We will work on these statistics. Is just go to my header scripts page and essentially uh, copy and paste the, the scripts that are in the head of this HTML here. You're going to take all of this. This is what I copied here and put into my uh, header scripts here. Uh, not right in here are the bokeh release uh, minified CSS and widgets, and then uh, bokeh itself along with the widgets. That is that part. And then let's skip. This is very, very important, but not what we need right now. And then copy all of this script here down to where the body is closed off. Just copy that and then paste it right into the header script here. Now you want to reduce the size of the data, this data. I got rid of the description that we were saving just so I wouldn't have to load all of this data. Loading speed is very important on web pages, as you know. Uh, so you don't want to load a whole ton of data, but essentially that's it. Just put this code into the header scripts and there you go. Now, the only other thing that you need here and this video is done is to have a place 
uh, that references that. So you, you need to import input the div essentially is, is, is the gist of it. And so I have this set up so that I have widgets here and I have custom HTML. And so this class right here references this class. Now they might not be exactly the same because I just regenerated this, but this div class right here is essentially this right here. And that's all I need to do. And then I save and publish this. And what I get is this beautiful interactive visualization. That's literally all I did. And so that's a pretty powerful, easy way to get your plots that you've built in these Jupyter notebooks right into your Word, WordPress site. And this is all the HTML you need. And so if you want to put it in any other site, regardless of what kind of site you have, you're using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and you can just take it and run with it. And so, you know, that's, uh, that is it. <laughs> Bokeh just makes it so easy. Uh, so guys, we're going to recommend another video coming up for you, but take the time, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Um, I'd like to get more projects going, uh, different kinds of, of things happening on this channel. And I want to hear from you about what kinds of things we should be building in the future together. So leave a comment below, uh, check out this video and, uh, we will see you next time.